So what is software-defined networking and what problem is it trying to solve? Data centers, carriers, and even enterprise networks have one thing in common, they're getting more complex. Whilst at the same time being asked to become more agile, react faster to changing traffic flows, and above all, just get better at delivering what are constantly changing services, i.e. think elastic. And that's where software-defined networking, or SDN, comes into play. Existing networks weren't really designed to be dynamic, which makes it sort of difficult for them to react to change. And they're complex too, so the likelihood of getting stuff wrong is pretty high. Now, SDN helps by abstracting the lower level of functionality of the network and moving into what is a normalized control plane. And that's where it all gets managed. Or, in other words, the applications themselves, firewall, load balancing, virtualization, etc., well, they sit as a distinct entity from the physical network. And you just get to say, well, make this happen, rather than trying to manage multiple proprietary network elements. Now, the application layer still needs to communicate with the physical infrastructure, and that's done via the SDN controller, which communicates northbound to you and southbound to the hardware, either via APIs or what is now becoming a global standard, OpenFlow, a protocol licensed from the Open Network Foundation and supported by Cisco, HP, Juniper, amongst others. So, the benefits of SDN are becoming clear. More dynamic networks, easier to manage, quicker to react, and above all, more efficient at delivering services when and where they're needed, with or without elastic bands.